Sunday, probably a good four or five days after the storm. So we're here late, but we're here. Uh, this is a few trees here in the back property we're gonna clean up, the entire wooden fence around as well, and everything's getting taken to the curb. So we're working it to the curb. All we gotta do is chop it up, take it to the street, nobody get hurt, everybody gets happy, and that's it. Um, this big tree, tree in the corner, tree in the center, big tree on the left side that's collapsed into the neighbor's uh, screened in area. That's it. There's the uh, AC pad. It says on it, hurricane proof, up to 150 miles per hour. I think it was a little bit beyond that this time, closer to 200. It was like this and the fabric got caught in the corner and he probably dropped the bucket and it was too short and boom, ripped it off. You need to figure out which one of these is my one here. So, they basically, they were not able to, like, to flip them so that they hung out back here. And it cost me thousands of dollars fixing this garbage and wasted time and stress and hair. Luckily I have so many, but still.
stayed in Fort Myers for almost a week. We just moved to Englewood, which is roughly about an hour drive. And we got our first uh, project here. We got these seven pine trees to remove. Um, they're standing, they're a hindrance, they're by the lines, and people freak down. They're like, let's get them out of here. Let's just get them out so nothing ever falls on the power lines. So what we're doing is disassembling the chain link fence and then mostly dropping everything. We don't even have to limb too much and just drop everything. If I can, I'm going to talk to the neighbor that's on the other side of the fence, see if we can get their oak out of the way um, as well, but that's up in the air for now. And this whole experience has just been wild, man. There's been destruction everywhere, especially what they call ground zero, which is seven miles from the coast, within seven miles, like things are destroyed. And the closer you get to the coast, the more destroyed things are. And you see bodies floating around and uh, search and rescue has been picking people up and choppers flying back and forth. And just like insane, there's convoys of police, fire, paramedics driving around. And uh, things are kind of a little hectic in the city. Lights are out, people just driving however they want, which I like by the way, but that's just one little positive in this negative. And, um, but yeah, I mean, like this whole area, there's no flood damage where, you know, we're a few miles off the coast but there's a lot of wind damage. There's a lot of pine trees in this area and we're just clearing this up. It's gonna be, you know, if you look around, you'll see a lot of things that just fallen over, broken, splintered, and that's what it is. So let's get this started. Mm -hmm. 